So you think that the iPhone XS Max is too big for you? You come to the right place. I'll show you a five-step methodology to use it one-handed very comfortably. Coming up. Tip one, organize your icons to make sure they're easily accessible. When I say organize, I say think about your most commonly used apps. So what you have to do, you have to touch and hold on any of the apps. So now you can modify them, you can remove them. It's not very uh, customizable like on Android, it's much more fiddly. It automatically reorganize everything. So it's quite a pain. But remember, you have to do it just once and then it's done. So uh, what you're gonna do is first of all, make sure you fully optimize the bottom tray here so you want to make sure you've got your four most commonly used apps uh, because they will always be handy on any screen so that's the first step second step if you're right-handed i would make sure the top nine or maybe 12 apps are anywhere from the bottom row here and the first column to the third column and the third row up or possibly four depending on how big your hands so basically then you've got again nine or twelve icons easily reachable if you're left-handed it's the opposite so anywhere from here the first row and the third column to the third row possibly fourth row Doing that will help you tremendously already to be more productive one-handed on the iPhone XS Max. Second tip is to swipe down from anywhere on one of those screens. And then you've got access to the search feature embedded into iOS 12. So what you're gonna do now, you can type anything. So um, I want LinkedIn. And then I've got access to the application. So I click on application and I can reach the specific application. I go down again, I put a uh, Google. Google and then I've got access again to anything so let's say um, let's say Google News and I'm in the app so very easy to reach and again it's a good second tip I personally don't use it very often but I strongly believe that that could help you use your device one-handed third tip is to use 3d touch as trackpad if I go to Google Docs for instance you see the cursor here I'm gonna press and hold on the keyboard and you see now you can see the letters so that means that now i can move my finger and it will move the cursor so please note that it's a bit fiddly at times but i know some of my friends are swearing by it so i'm sure with a bit of practice it will help you again produce more one-handed on the iphone XS max fourth tip which is very important it's activating reachability so i go to settings i go to general i go to accessibility and i'm going to go to interaction and reachability so on so that's good now. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. Now what you can do from the very bottom of the screen, you can swipe down and the screen will shift down, which means that you'll have access to the top rows without any problem. Again, swipe down and you've got access to the top row. Go down once again. Now if I swipe down from the top of that screen, I can easily trigger the notification screen. Go back home so now what i'm going to do i'm going to do reachability again and i'm going to swipe down from the top right of that screen and then i easily activate the control panel please note that reachability works in apps as well so here for instance i mean in imdb if i swipe down from the bottom of the screen again i've got access to the top very easily and here the menu for instance and last but certainly not least let's activate assistive touch which is probably the single best tip I can give you. So we're still in the accessibility menu here. So you saw uh, reachability. I'm gonna click on assistive touch and I'm gonna switch it on. What happens here is that little circle like ball appears. So here it's at the bottom of the screen, but you can put it pretty much anywhere you want. And what is it gonna do when you click on it? then you've got access to up to eight shortcuts. So please note that those are my shortcuts and I strongly believe that those are some of the most handy shortcuts you can set up. They all work well, so volume down, volume up, mute, notifications. If I go back home, control center, again home, and screenshot so everything works super well and it really helps you use the device one-handed please bear in mind that you can place that ball that circle wherever you want on the screen so if you're left-handed might be more handy to put it on the left hand side so it's super easy to uh, place 
exactly wherever you want. I, I like putting it personally here at the bottom. Why? Because I can still access the camera and in that case, uh, iMessages. And I've got still the option to use the ball and trigger those shortcuts. Please bear in mind that that assistive touch ball slash circle will always be on screen if it's activated. So if, for instance, you're in an app like IMDb or if you're watching a YouTube video full screen, the ball will still be there. So you might want to bear in mind that that might be a bit annoying at times, but I strongly believe that at the same time, it's such a help if you want to use your device one-handed that it's not a huge deal. So now let me show you how to configure those shortcuts. So I'm gonna go back to settings. I'm in assistive touch here. What you wanna do, there's a lot of options, but I won't talk about everything. You click on customize top level menu, and this is the screen where you can again customize that and add as many shortcuts as you'd like, up to eight. You can have less though. And then to change that, you can click on any of the shortcuts. So let's say the home here, I click on it. And those are the shortcuts available to you. So um, for instance, if I wanted to have the camera instead, I click on camera at the bottom here, done. And then as you can see, instead of home, now you've got camera. I'm gonna click on camera again because I really want home here. And that's it, it's done. So if I go back, uh, you see you've got other options like uh, opacity. So I really want it, see, to put it very obvious or less obvious, which is better when you're watching videos. It's possible to do that from that specific option here. As you can see, it's much more subtle now. You can barely see it. When I move it or activate it, it's gonna go back at opacity 100%, but after a few seconds, look, it disappears. So you might want to use that option as long as you know where you put it. You can just guess it here. But if you want to get rid of Assist Touch once and for all when you're watching a video, so let's say it's a tip number six, it's an extra bonus. So you click on settings, I go back here, so I'm in accessibility, where you find reachability and assistive touch. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click on accessibility shortcut. It's the last option here. And here, what you wanna do, by default, nothing is activated. So I click on them. Uh, if I click on assistive touch, which is the one you really want, now I'm gonna leave that screen and I just have to triple click on the power button. And now I've got access to those three options that are selected. So if I click on assistive touch, you can barely guess it on the right hand side here. If I click on it, now it's totally gone. One, two, three. I want assistive touch back. It's back. Here you have it. The iPhone XS Max is really easy to use when handed thanks to those five tips. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know what to do, but please leave a comment as well to tell us how to improve the future videos. And please consider subscribing. It helps us a lot. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Merci beaucoup YouTube. A très bientôt. Salut.